In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to easily make a word cloud with an image. In this case, I'm going to use a script from the television show, The Office, and going to use an image from The Office as well, but you can easily replace the text with whatever text or image you want. Now, the first step to making a word cloud is making sure you actually understand what a word cloud is. A word cloud is a data-driven image that basically shows what words are used the most within a text. You basically have a bunch of words on side of an image, and the bigger the text size, the more frequently that word is used in the text. Typically, they look something like this, where the size of the word corresponds to how frequently it's used in the text. Now, this one's kind of just boring with a black background and kind of random colors, but what's cooler is if you actually have an image that the word cloud is forming to that covers the shape and the color that corresponds a little bit more to the topic of the text. It just makes it a little more fun and a little bit more topic-based. Like this, you can see all of the words are from the Office episode that I took as well as the images from the office. And so it just kind of ties the whole visualization up in a bow. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. But before I get into that, I have to say, if you want the data file, the text file, as well as the links to all the tools that I'm using, please click the link in the description down below. That is going to give you all the resources, not only for this word cloud image making session, but also the other 29 projects that I'm doing in 29 days that are all great to put on your data scientist or data analyst portfolio. This is available to you all for free. There's projects that use Tableau, Python, data visualization covering topics like animal shelters, your own LinkedIn data, your own iPhone data, and much more. So go ahead and check that out. The first thing you're going to need for this project is some sort of text. Now that can be from a book, it can be from your text messages, your emails, it can be from really anything, but a TV show or a movie is pretty fun. And in this particular project, I'm going to be taking a script from one of my favorite shows, the Office and one of my favorite episodes, which was basketball. I just love that episode. I think it's hilarious. And so I selected that as my text file, but you can select whatever you want. I'll also give you access to an awesome movie script database in the description down below in the resources section. So make sure you click there. So here's the text file that I'm going to use. You can see that it is ep season one, episode five, basketball of the office. I'm just going to go ahead and click on select all of this text right here all the way down to the bottom, which it is a television episode, so it is a little bit long, right? And go right here and hit Control C to copy it. Next, we're going to use a top secret tool to create this word cloud. It is called wordart.com, okay? This is what I love to use when I'm making word clouds. It's just really easy to use and free, so it's fun to use. So go ahead and click Create Your Own, and that'll bring you to this page right here. All you need to do is click the import button at the top, choose text, and go ahead and paste your whole text file in here. Now I'm gonna delete this bottom because it looks like I got a little bit too much of the text, all right? And I'm going to hit import words. So you can see right here, it actually gives me the breakdown, the frequency table, where Michael was said 115 times, Dwight was said 46 times, Jim was said 40 times, No was said 29 times, Roy was 29 times, Wright is 26, Yeah is 26, Pam is 25, Come is 25. Anyways, you get the idea, right? And I can go ahead and just click visualize, okay? And visualize will create this word cloud for you where you have Michael, Dwight, Jim, kind of at the top, right? Now, this is cool. Like We can go ahead and just click download here if we wanted to download this, but I want to make it as a theme of the office, okay? And so what we're going to do is find an image that we like. So for instance, in this case, I'm going to search the office on uh, Google. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to find an image that I like. Now, this is a pretty cool image that I used actually before I made this video, but this one kind of looks fun as well. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and try this. This one looks good too. Gosh, there's so many good options. Let's try this one. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm going to save this inside of my downloads folder. I'm gonna call it the office, right? And I'm gonna go back up to the word cloud and I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to add an image. That image is going to be from my computer and click the office. Okay, now there's some settings here that basically affect the threshold of how you have this uh, image looking. I think I'm gonna go like right about there and the edge, I'll probably go high on the edges. You'll just have to like kind of play around with this to try to understand what it actually does. That's also true of the style down here with the color emphasis and the uh, background image. Those are things you'll have to play around with to make it as pretty as you would want it to. I'm gonna go ahead and hit visualize and there we go we have our word cloud of the office. So like I said, you can kind of mess around with these and decide how bright you want that background image to be, how much you want the color to be emphasized. I typically think, yeah, right, maybe right around there is probably a good place to be. And you can go ahead and hit download here. 
download as a PNG and open it up. And voila, you have created your own word cloud of your favorite Office television episode. Now, of course, you don't have to do this with the Office television episode. You can do this with anything that you'd like, uh, but it's pretty easy to follow these instructions. There you have it. You can take that image and put it onto your data analyst portfolio and have a cool story write-up about it as well. If you want 29 other projects that you can add to your portfolio, please check out this playlist over here somewhere on this page that you can click and you can watch a bunch of different data science projects, pick and choose which ones are interesting to you. And I give you access to all of the data, all of the code that you need to replicate that data. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow.